all of the work I make is engaged with some kind of social or political question, or maybe not even a question that I can articulate, something that's bothering me, some kind of itch that I need to scratch about the world, something that I'm trying to understand or learn more about. And it's very much about, the, the work is very much about the ways we choose to live together in our society, the decisions that we make collectively, or the decisions that are made for us. I became fascinated with trying to crowdsource the value of an imaginary object, something that can't possibly be bought. And in order to do that, I, uh, I put an advert up on eBay. <laughs> uh, I should say that just underneath the screen grab here in the item description, I'd written, as used in the films, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Wayne's World. <laughs> the show is a kind of meeting point between a performance lecture and storytelling. So they're both ways of directly addressing an audience. And it's, I don't even know if performance lecture is the right term. It's a kind of playful joke lecture. Um, although the storytelling element is much more direct and heartfelt. Um, Process-wise, it was developed partly just through me and the guy who directed it, Dick Bonham, having a series of very long conversations. And every so often he would say, yeah, that's very good, you should say that in the show. But it also emerged out of a, a number of conversations with economists, with academics, and um, around a set of concerns uh, uh, about the kind of meeting point between artist and audience. I received 14 separate bids for an air guitar. <laughs> for the right to mime an imaginary musical instrument. A right which is surely universal. <laughs> I think I thought I'd probably do it about a dozen times and that would be it and that would be the audience who were interested in these themes uh, would all have seen it. And it turns out that everyone's interested in these themes and they affect everyone's lives. Uh, but some people latch on to some aspects of it more than the others. This obsession with value really started about 18 months ago. Um, I was on a train from, from London, where I currently live, to Middlesbrough, where I'm from, on my way to a family funeral. And on the train, I was talking to the guy opposite me at the table, a really nice guy. He had a picture of Garfield on his T-shirt. <laughs> And what we were talking about was what I should do with the £20 note I'd just found underneath my seat. He thought I should buy us both beers. <laughs> uh, I thought I might give it to charity. It seems to land very, very well uh, in, in kind of quite strong communities or places that are not necessarily on the touring circuit, places that aren't necessarily where you think of as... Uh, the place that you take high concept pieces of art to. It works very well in post-industrial towns, in rural areas, in places where a sense of community is genuinely at issue and where the set of concerns about what that's worth and how that's valued and how that's measured uh, and how that's corroded by some of the systems at work in the economy at the moment, um, all of that seems to land very squarely outside of metropolises. He said, why did you help that woman out with her coffee and stuff just then? Are you a communist or something? <laughs> and I thought, how upsetting that a simple act of kindness only makes sense to some people as part of the campaigning wing of some sort of extremist lunatic fringe. The sort of thing that only real radicals would even consider. Although hopefully the, uh, the things that I'm dealing with in the show, the issues, the questions, are reasonably difficult, challenging questions, uh, the way in which we engage with those questions in the room together should be, should be an enjoyable process, I think. Uh, I, don't, I think that theatre should be difficult, should be challenging. I also think that it should provide some reward for your having spent time in the room. It should be enjoyable. And I hope that people who come and see the show will find it fun uh, as well as leaving with something.